and then, uh, you know, I wake up the next morning, and, you know, fucking a day or two passes, and then it happens again. It happens again. And so I'm like, all right, well, we're going to confront him this time, and I let it be, and I let it pass, and then I go up in a couple of days, pass, and it happens again. He's just leaving during the daytime, and not really telling me where he's going, and not that he has any responsibility, there's any rule that he has to inform me where his location is, but, like, I'm worried about it, so, you know, I mean, he's never, he's never held that information from me before, so I'm like, okay, Trooper Copper, friend, that's fine, so imagine my, my worry and my concern when he doesn't, he doesn't, complain about anything, so, uh, it's none of my business, but I saw on his Snapchat location where he was, and, and he enrolled me, well, I started thinking the Trooper Copper, he had, he had a new human friend, and he wasn't gonna, he was gonna live with any, me anymore, he was gonna live under my stairs, he was gonna go and he was gonna live, he was gonna live somewhere else, under somebody else's stairs, So I follow him on a Snapchat location to uh, to his, his Bitmoji, and I find him, and I find where he's located, and uh, me oh my is me, but it was a hospital. And my trooper copper friend, he's sick. He's very, very sick. My trooper copper friend has third stage lymphoma. He has been slipping in and out of a coma. He's going to leave me in this world all alone. Leave me in this world all alone. So imagine my concern and imagine my surprise when my poor Sasquatch friend, the Trooper Copper, could not even open his eyes. In his hospital bed, just breathing just a little bit. And softly and he said, Do not worry, do not fret, my friend.
From whence you have spun, from whence you will return. Thank you for your service and watching over me. Please watch me in death as you have in life. And for you and for your kid and for your legacy, I will watch you too. Spit on me, and I would spit on you. And the five of us heaved because we knew it was ahead. The mighty push to get him into the grave. But we did it. The five of us, we rolled him step by step, and push by push, and arm by arm, and he went down with a thud. He went boom. grabbed the shovels and we began the last task of burying my Sasquatch friend and with him the memory of my Sasquatch friend and all of my other non-Sasquatch friends, my non chupacabra pals, they told me to, to, to just to bury, bury the legacy, to bury the thought of him, they, they told me to just forget. Because if I ever went out to a party or to a bar, and tried to have a conversation and tell a story about my friend who was a chupacabra. The people would look at me funny and they wouldn't believe me and they wouldn't like me for having a friend that's a chupacabra. And it's something I should just forget about. And it became apparent to me that there was no way for me to respect the legacy of my dearly departed friend and also have a normal life with the people surrounding me now today. And so, so, so I did it. I buried the memory. And, and that's it. And there, there's no more Chupacabra. And he was my only friend and he's dead. And that's it. And, and that's, that's fine. I mean, what, I mean. Mom had passed away a couple of years after the bank had, uh, had taken her house, and his dad walked out of him, on him as a kid. Maybe that's why I was worried that he was going to leave me. Because he was sick, and now, now he's gone. And nobody's going to believe me. Nobody's going to care. And so I just have to sit here with my memory of my chupacabra friend. And how, and how, how, like, how, like, like we never got to really even explore what, what what it could have been like, you know, you know, like 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 like, like, like what it could have meant to have a friend that was a fucking chupacabra, man. I don't even know, you know, like it's like, no. <laughs> like, 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 Thank <laughs> you.